Hi, my name is Craig Barr from Autodesk, and today we're going to take a look at a technology preview of some multi-touch research that we're working with here in Autodesk Mudbox. So this is an early glimpse or preview of some technology that our research and development department is currently playing with. You can see that I can use simple hand gestures, like I'm using one finger right now to rotate around my creature and tumble around. I can also use simple gestures like pinch. So if I want to zoom in or out, I can do that. And with those, that same gesture, I can use that to zoom and, tr and track or pan around my character. I can use both hands if I want to or need to. And I can also do some interesting things like access the camera tilt here if I want to do that with my character and snap it back. And another interesting thing about that is anywhere on my viewport that I grab, that now becomes the pivot based off of my uh, touch of my uh, fingers on there. And I'm able to do this with this amazing new Cintiq from Wacom. And this is a fully functional multi-touch display that works up to 10 different digits here at the same time. So for example, I can be working with my hand here to work with all the different gestures and a stylus at the same time to sculpt and detail this character. I should point out that the bezel on this has access to express keys to store other things that can really minimize my need to go to a keyboard. So for example, with the info here, I have all my regular hotkeys that I need and anything customizer specific that I want to work with within my Mudbox workflow. So if we get back into our uh, viewport here, let's start to sculpt and detail this character up. I'm going to drop down a brand new sculpt layer. I'm working with my sculpt tool and let's zoom in and start to work with his back. We'll build up some definition there. So the first thing I want to do is turn the mirroring on so I'm working with uh, both shoulder uh, blade areas here. And then I'm going to just quickly adjust the overall strength of this, maybe around that size. And using three fingers, I'm going to adjust the overall size of the brush. So I can now quickly start to build in some bulk definition along this character here. If I get too carried away on some of these areas, I can hit my shift key to quickly start to smooth down that area so I'm not bringing up too much definition. Um, and let's rotate around to the front of this guy. And using the express keys that I've mapped in here, you know, just step up a couple uh, subdivision levels. And let's start to detail in this area with some texture painting tools. So I want to work in some detail on the, this creature's face. So I'm going to go into my paint, drop down a new paint layer. That's fine. And I want to start to detail in some scales here. So I'm going to go into my paint tool tray and grab my paintbrush. And I'm going to leave the mirroring on for this and go into my image browser. I have a bunch of scales, uh, texture maps. Drive that into a, as a stamp for this brush. And let's bring the overall size of my brush down a bit, zoom in, and start to paint that on. So you can see that I'm getting this black and white scale effect on here. I don't want that overall color in there, but I'm just leaving it as black and white, the full bold color so I can see the overall magnitude of the placement of this detail. I can change that at any time by accessing any of these blend modes, for example, overlay in this case. That's a little too bold, a little too much contrast on there, so I'll just adjust the overall layer opacity or layer strength and bring it down. That's looking fine there. And then what I can do that's really nice in Mudbox is duplicate this layer. And let's switch this duplicate layer back to normal and do a quick color adjustment with the Adjust Color menu. Let's just inverse this, making it uh, the areas that we're concerned with solid white. And I'm going to drag this down this duplicate layer into my bump map. And I've now effectively created a nice bump map that matches exactly the scale detail that I've painted. I don't like how detailed that is or how bold the bump is, so let's just dial it down a little bit, bring it down to that area. So thanks for watching. This is a quick technology preview of Autodesk Mudbox and this amazing new multi-touch Wacom Cintiq. Thank you.